everyone, welcome back to the Institution of Research. Today we're going to see if this Home Smart EV charger is one of the best available on the market. With me as always is Miss Researcher. Hello. So where do we start with this evaluation? Well, we need to check out the packaging. So as far as packaging goes, what do you think? It's very nice. Everything's all tightly packed in there and it looks like it's very secure. I'd say very good. Definitely among the best in the industry. What do we do next? Well, it looks like they have an app, so we could download that. Range, gonna go with miles. All right, so it looks like we've got access to the manual, our charging history, any sort of notifications. Right now, we haven't hooked anything up yet, so there's nothing there, so we'll need to add that. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay. There we go. Green button. Green is power. Oh, what? green circle. Nice. All right, we'll see how challenging this is to add. So we're going to go ahead and add. Oh, scan the barcode. Device coding error. This one? Or maybe is there a code on the back? Yes. Okay. Holy small one. Bind. Binding successful. All right, so there it is. Says we can start charging. It's got our energy cost, everything. All right, so let's see. Charge current. So it looks like it goes up to 48 amps. Is that real? That's amazing. I think the most I've ever seen, well, I guess I've maybe seen one go up to 50, but most of them are 40. So that's really good. So then you, uh, you can set different currents for different times of day. Very nice. You can schedule the charging. Very convenient. Energy price. So you can set what it is. All right, so it's got from six amps all the way to 48 amps, and you can just put whatever value in there you want. So if I want to say 15, done. Perfect. All right, so the Smart App, it really does allow you to maximize your savings, and you can also connect to your wireless network. So now that we're done with unboxing, um, and we've kind of plugged it in, we've checked it out, what's next? Uh, we should evaluate it. And I think we can start by measuring the cord. Okay, great. Well, now that we've done measuring the cord, what's the next evaluation? Um, let's see if it's waterproof. Good idea. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done the waterproof test, what's the next evaluation? Well, let's run over it. That sounds like a plan. The Institution of Research test vehicle has been in hibernating for a while, so we're gonna get it out. All right, you ready for the test setup? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. For testing purposes, we've got it plugged in here in this bay of the garage. There's another bay, and then there's the far bay where we've got the electric supercar test vehicle. So the good thing we got the long cord. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, going in. heard it. So it's got the light here that says it's charging. So there you go. We're currently at 10.6 amps. That is the max that the test vehicle will do. Uh, basically about 2.5 kilowatts. Voltage, that's the house voltage, about 236 volts. And we're charging. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit end charging and we'll see what happens. Yes, we wanna end. 
I heard it click. Yep, the onboard charger just went off. So great, great, great. All right, so as far as other evaluations, um, what is it compatible with? It's compatible with any EVs and pH EVs. Very nice. Okay, so as far as something like robustness, I mean, does it come with a warranty? Yes, it comes with a three-year warranty. So what about solar? Can this integrate with solar? It can integrate with solar, actually, to maximize your consumption of green energy. Very nice. All right, so we kind of concluded everything. Let's kind of recap. The unpackaging, the boxing, the design, the overall design, what do you think? I think it was a very sleek design. It looked very nice, very aesthetic, and yeah. overall good. I think I agree. Um, let's go to some of the evaluations. So we did water, the overall length. I, I actually thought the length was pretty good. Yes, it, it did survive the runover test, did survive the water test. For charging, I've actually reviewed a lot of these, and 50 amps, or this one's 48 amps, this is uh, among the best that you can find out there. So what do we think about the app? I think it's really nice that you can have a charger that you can control from your phone, and it has all that information on there. And Yeah, so it keeps a log of all your history. I think this is the only app I've seen where it actually has like multiple segments of the day that you can actually set charging limits, times, things like that. So very useful app. So we came here today to see if this is one of the best chargers on the market. What would you say? I think it is. I really liked all the different qualities that it brought, just the overall design. I think, it, I think it'd be hard to beat. The official term is electric vehicle supply equipment or EVSE. Most people just use the term electric vehicle charger or EV charger, home charger. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below. That'll do it for this time. See you next time.